talk about the first topic, the state of the economy. And the first part of this would be about EVs and automotives. You know, from what I have been seeing and from what I've been hearing, and it, like I want to know your personal experience about this because mm. I you, I know you've told me like off camera and more personal and we're never going to tell anyone. No, I'm just joking. Um, the average car payment, the average car payment right now mm. compared to previous years is at one of its highest. Um, I saw that the price for used cars on average is twenty four thousand dollars, and then for new cars is about forty seven thousand mm-hmm. dollars. And the average car payment is between five hundred to nine hundred dollars. Um which is i think really high i think um, it makes sense though if you're talking about like a a forty thousand dollar car like it would make sense that it's uh that high but you think about it that's literally the average americans like that's the average americans car payment like who's yes. out here affording these cars because the, i think personally this is here's the thing this is okay go on they can't afford the car <laughs> Because the other the other po- like topic that we could eventually talk about is uh how millennials and other people are just have no savings no savings at all so like living paycheck to paycheck so this Listen, also <laughs> adds oh. on to the issue where like oh they're spending beyond their means for a, a car to get them to work you, to you, help pay for all their other stuff you know it's so crazy I watch um I want to talk about this because I watch this um I watch this YouTuber his yeah. name is Javier he does he does like home. He does like home content and he does like real estate content. Um, and one guy submitted he he this guy submitted um, wh- how much he was making and his average car payment. Uh, spoiler alert: He had a Tesla. Mm-hmm. I, I forget which one he had, but he was only making um, he was making uh, around like maybe eighty eighty thousand um, dollars. Makes sense. And he wanted to afford a home here in California. He lives Ooh. in California, but in like a more I think rural part of like California because he was looking the suburbs of like the major metropolitan, which is like which pushing out. Yeah, but the thing was, he I think his take home pay. Uh, essentially, what was happening was that his Tesla was taking up a third of his pay, which was insane. And I, I think that there is this real um th- this real um effect i don't mm. know if you've heard about this it's called lifestyle creep i yeah or because a lot of things are are like you want to portray yourself as successful so i mean if everybody else is having like supposed success and then like you are not portraying that image then you're not successful like in their minds i guess that's crazy i would not um us being finance majors, correct? B- business. Business. <laughs> uh, business. No, I think that, um, I think it's like, I would say it's like a, making smart financial decisions is a good, a good idea. Um, mm-hmm. I think that when I first saw the, the statistics on the cars coming out, I, I was thinking it's like, who could afford these things? You know, it's like, we live in one of the most expensive cities here and you do see people mm, driving like expensive define, cars. Define live. <laughs> define live. Mm. So uh, essentially I'm, I'm just saying that, yeah, I, I would, I would be wary, especially with higher interest rates, um, yes. high price on used cars, mm. um, especially like new cars too. I don't think it's worth it to tie your, your money up in, in um in a depreciation depreciating asset like a car because but first like off, you can see that so unlike before it depends on the car you get actually so a lot of times the values aren't going down because there's a lot of demand for used cars which is propping up used cars because like during the pandemic the prices of used cars went up because of the of the chip shortage yeah. So because of the chip shortage, there was no new cars to fill in the old cars. So old car prices have gone up, and the I don't think the market has exactly evened out yet. Like gone back to like more rational levels. So even if you do buy a car, a lot of times, if you get like a car that's in demand, like a lot of the around here, it's like uh, plug-in hybrids are very very popular to the point where like if you have one and you bring it in, they'll probably give you 
retail for your car as a trade-in to My, get your car to someone else. So I, I don't know if I told you, but, you know, I took my car to um, to basically get appraised on how much it would be. The pawn shop? No, the pawn shop. The, the clothing pawn shop. I took it over there. Um, I took my car to go get appraised, see how much I would get trade-in value mm -hmm. or how much I, they would give me cash. They would actually give me the same amount that I paid for or a thousand more. But that was last year. Um, I do yeah. want to say situations have changed. There's a flood of used cars, at least from what I'm hearing. And I did want to, you actually had a comment about this, about EVs and about Teslas. And oh, yes. So supposedly there's a, Elon now has, a, or Tesla itself has a lot of inventory now. Like before it was during the pandemic, they had a, a shortage because of the, the um, supply chain issues. And the wait times were outrageous. Mm -hmm. Supply chain caught up, and now is out outpacing the demand for Teslas. So, I mean, it's hard. It's hard because yeah, you never know. One other, because like this could be its own topic. Because it's Tesla itself is like a what is it a Goliath like based on a personality yeah. a lot of people just believe like one thing i wanted to talk about before was when your friend or someone you knew bought the tesla a lot of times they bought into the ideals of what elon musk was saying like they wanted to be part of the electric future like what is going on like they want to be progressive with it but now because of a lot of the stuff he's been saying and doing a lot of people aren't actually they're choosing not to buy a Tesla, even though like nothing fundamentally changed about the cars. It's just the perception of the cars because of what he's been doing has changed. Yeah. You know, I actually know a lot of people with Tesla. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I do. But okay. I, no, I, I, I'm just saying, I just want to say, flex, but okay. No, how dare you? <laughs> um, I did want to say that it's, uh, I do understand that. Um, I was also going to say the growing competition mm, that's also yes. coming out because you have Rivian, you have Ford, you have, I think Rivian is like, um electric know, truck <laughs> yeah electric well, well the electric truck and electric suv there's yeah. a rt and the r rts i think for oh yeah anyways regardless so those like are always having a wait list because like um a lot of people place them as like their car of the year because like for two years in a row like doug doug demuro put um the rivian truck and the really? rivian rivian um suv as his car of the year which is insane because he reviews a lot of cars. Uh, dang, I would trust that guy. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just saying that, you know, I think I wanted to start off this topic by saying that, you know, with automobiles, especially because of the changing landscape, the changing interest rates, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people, especially you bringing up how most millennials are, I, and I think I remember reading, I think it was, don't quote me on this, but I think it was like 30% or, or like 50%. No, mm -hmm. it was, or it was higher. It was like 60%. It's actually. a lot. It's, it, you're like living paycheck to paycheck, which yeah. is crazy. Um, it, I, it's I, like I, definitely a lifestyle thing. I don't understand, like just as much as the, um, like Apple is like a luxury, they have like a luxury tax and like, um, you know, like it's about perception, you know, like, there's a lot of like people doing well, but like you don't want to, you don't want to perceive like be perceived as you know, like doing bad. You know, I will say that I am wearing a luxury item right now, but I am by no means like it's I, fake. It's, it's fake. <laughs> how dare you? Viewers, how dare you? Please zoom in. <laughs> no, it's no, fake. God, no. I was gonna say it's like it's because I like. Um, I think it's like that whole notion of like. You, it, it's like how people like bought into the car because they like Elon. It's like I've researched and I've looked like I've researched and looked up the companies. Um, it's what I like. It's what my hobbies are. Um, and it's mm -hmm. very true to me, but I would not go out and buy a luxury car. I feel really, like I, yeah, I, I, you know, um, as I, as I, I feel like as I, um, I feel like for me, there's better ways for me 
or more more not even i think there's more authentic ways for me to spend or that tie up that money i'm just saying that i wouldn't pay for i wouldn't pay 900 dollars a month for a car that i'm only driving two days a week you can't wear your all your sweaters and shirts all the time there's 365 days out of the year <laughs> you can't wear it every single day how dare you <laughs> okay uh but yeah i'm just i just wanted to say it's like um be careful out there. I didn't even get into the the people uh, turning back the odometer. That, oh, that has been a, a new thing as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. So I was just I would just say it's like you know, just don't don't tie up your money. And essentially, be be I more mean, financially. You got, you you have to, the thing is that like you don't need an expensive the, car. All cars now are expensive. Okay, never mind. Like <laughs> never mind. You, <laughs> if you can't but, afford it, uh, yeah, I don't know. If you like look at how much like a Corolla or like um like a Camry or something. It's all very expensive. Like you, Really? Yeah, Dang. it's surprisingly expensive. That's crazy. Comparatively to what you would expect. Because, like, um, even though, like, the economy is dipping, like, the, the price of cars is not, <laughs> not going down or anything like that. Yeah. Especially, like, with inflation. Like, it, our, the paychecks aren't, Paychecks aren't increasing, no, but not. the price of goods are, is definitely going up. And, and there's you can a bunch see of it. layoffs, too. Um, but